Hello, my name is Suzanne and welcome to my tutorial to teach you how to learn to do a keynote presentation. This is going to be done on a Mac computer. I'm going to add audio as I'm doing right now and I'm going to save it to a video. This is a somewhat difficult presentation to do until you know what to do. It has taken me some time and so I thought I would teach you so that it would be easier for you to learn. Perhaps you were having trouble too. So I'm going to walk you through the steps right now. Here are the simple steps and all you need to do is open up Keynote on your Mac and then you're going to add slides whatever your presentation is, go ahead and get those in. If you don't know how to um, do that, then you're going to want to learn how to do Keynote. You can probably just find that on YouTube or play around with it. It's not too difficult. So get your slides together and then go ahead and save your presentation. And when you're ready to add your audio, you have an option um, on your slides. Let me back up. If you want to have notes so that you know what to say when you do your presentation, go ahead and add your notes on your slide. I'll show you what to do with that here in a second. So since you've saved your presentation now, it's time to add your audio. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on your first slide and then at the very top ribbon above your presentation, I mean like at the very top of your screen, you're going to go ahead and click on the word play. You're going to note that there is a play button that is just below that on the uh, presentation itself inside Keynote, that's not the one you want. So go ahead and click on the play button at the very top. When you do, you're going to see an option that says record slideshow. Go ahead and click on that. And when you do, let me show you what you're going to find. This is what you're going to see next. Now I have already um, shown you that on this slide there is a, a drop down that will give you some options so you can customize and I'm going to go ahead and do that in this presentation you're gonna see right up here there is a little brick at the very top right um, it's just there's an X a question mark and a little brick symbol go ahead and click on the brick symbol and when you do, you have an option of choosing how you want to do your presentation. I went ahead and chose the current slide and the next slide so I can see what's coming. I did not have presentation notes on this particular video, so I do not have that checked. But if I did, let me check it here, you'll see that the presentation notes at the bottom are there. So if you want to have your dialogue for your audio all ready to go so that you can remember what you wanted to say, this is a good way to do that. And it will not show up on your video, but it is something that is a guide for you. So I'm going to uncheck that because I do not have that. And the next section is ready to advance uh, indicator. That is a good thing to uh, click. It'll just help you to have a smooth transition. You have a clock option. When you click on it, it tells you what time it is. I don't really feel like that's necessary. I'm going to unclock that, uncheck that. And the next one is timer. You see that rolling at the top. So we're now at the 4.44. And um, if you needed to do a video that was a lot um, shorter, then this would help you to kind of keep on track. So you know how long you want your video and that will just keep you 
moving. You also have an option to customize the presenter display. I actually have not even played around with that as I just learned this today. So I will do that later and you can too. So I don't need this anymore. So I'm going to um, undo the little brick. Okay, so now what you wanna do is you'll click on your current slide presentation right here and then that will change you to the next slide. So um, the steps that you're going to do, um, once you have done your presentation, I actually clicked that a little bit too soon, but we're just gonna move on. After you've done your video, um, actually, let me just go back. I don't know, I'm learning this as we go. So I'm gonna use my back arrow and just talk to you a little bit about this here. You'll see my notes at the bottom. And once I am ready to go and record, you're going to click on this red button down at the bottom. And so I actually don't think I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have. If the timer's going. Oh, the timer's going. Hey, this is raw, authentic. <laughs> this is authentic. So, you know, I'm just going to say, learn as you go. <laughs> That's so, good. That is I rich. did do it. So this is rich. This is rich. Okay. So, so <laughs> what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on that red drink. button at the bottom, and that's gonna start your video as I've already done. And when you're ready to go to the next slide, you just do your arrow button so you don't hear the clicks, and then you can keep going through your video. Okay. Steps to save as a video. And um, just a little note when you're done with your um, audio, just click that little X at the top and that will take you back to your presentation and you'll be ready for this next slide. Okay, steps to save it as a video. Once you have um, done your slides and you've recorded your audio, then it's time to save it as a video. So what you're going to do is you're going to click on the file tab at the top and you're going to save your work first. Then you're going to go back and click on it again and then hit export to and choose a quick time video. Your video is going to save to your desktop or whatever desired location that you have. It really saves it pretty quickly and then once you've done that you can go and find it in the location that you chose and you can um, add it to YouTube. Now I'm just going to tell you the version I have does not have the uh, coolest option but if you have a, a like a more like I believe a 10 point um, version, then when you click on your video and you look down at the play button area at the bottom, you're going to see a button where you can actually share it directly to YouTube all in one step which is very cool. I don't have that. So what I will do is I will go to YouTube and then I will upload this video directly to YouTube and do it that way. And that is how you do this presentation and turn it into a video. So I hope you've enjoyed this step-by-step -step guide to creating a quality presentation uh, using a video keynote on the Apple Mac computer. This is a new skill. I actually like it better than PowerPoint. PowerPoint's great, 
but I believe this has more options and it has better options for sharing and integrating the uh, the different things that you want to put into your video. It just takes a little bit of time to learn it, but I believe it's worth it. So if you like this, please share your feedback on YouTube or on my blog, mychoicesmatter.com. And this presentation will be found on the blog post, Choose to Learn. It's uploaded on September 25th. This is the day that I'm putting it together. I'm actually recording this on the 24th, and it will run on the 25th. I learned this as an assignment in a coaching class, and I'm a believer that I need to be a product of the product, and if I teach it, I need to learn to do it myself. So I've learned to do this project today, and I'm teaching it. It goes right along with my blog, and I encourage you to choose to learn. Learn something new. Lead by example, and have a good day. Thank you for watching. Now I'm going to hit the red button, and I'm going to stop the recording.